morning, everybody. We are here at the club. It is the 26th of August. Look at the crowd. They could wait. It's okay. It's allowed. All right. We have got all kinds of fun stuff to share with you today. Uh, let's start with Diane. You have got a video. Uh, what's this thing about? The rain, the rain video, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tell us about it. I shot this a couple days ago when we had our last thunderstorm. And it's a little moody, but it's kind of how I was feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else besides feeling moody? No, it, 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 the only thing was I couldn't really reshoot anything because the storm was gone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, well, let's, <clears throat> let's check it out. You like her mood. Yes. Yeah. What did you uh, think about the imagery? Like the shots of the, just that water and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty great. I, I just think she, I, I really like it. It was fun. And it, it was very moody. <laughs> but I, I thought she had a great opportunity to cut to the beats. And she hmm. didn't. Okay. Well, it did in a couple places. It did in a couple places. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah, really hard. But boy, some of those splashes and then still frames are really good. Yeah. Really neat. Yeah. yeah. Within the video portions where the rain was dropping and causing the puddles to explode, she had a stop motion in there. How did you do that within the video? A frozen frame? Freeze frame, yeah. Yeah. Those There's good. a way you can, in iMovie, is there a half freeze frame? Yeah. Okay, that's the terminology they use. Uh, basically, you just... You go to that point of the video and you stop the video and then you cut or add this thing. It adds a little freeze frame of about eight to ten seconds. And then you can shorten it up. So did it improve your mood? 
Yeah, I guess we did. Oh, good. Excellent. Did you get wet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. You know, the one thing I was thinking, I love everything about that video. You had, you probably had about six or seven where you froze the rain. You know, you, the drop hits and you've got the first. Yeah. What, instead of doing the, that, what if you did a little slow motion? Yeah. And, and just give us, Give us that, like give us two or three of the of the, uh, the frozen, and then maybe later on you give us just a little bit, and that might be kind of neat. It'd be, yeah. it'd be interesting to see because of the frame rate how that looks. It may look kind of weird, but that's a thought. What did you shoot it? It's the frame rate thirty frames a second, probably. No, but I mean, was it was it a ten eighty or was it a four K or probably ten eighty? Yeah. 80. Okay. So, anyway, but that's just a thought. Maybe see if that, yeah. that works. But I, the mood is perfect, and the music, I thought, was great. Was great. Kind of, just and kind of a little haunting and everything else. It just matched really well yeah. with the stuff. What did you shoot this with? My um, Nikon C50. Your Nikon? Yeah. Yeah, the last, the, the two shots of the street, I was hand-holding it so you could see movement. Okay. It goes to yeah. The rest of it. Is there, is there stabilization in on Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you did a little stabilization. Yeah. You know, if you're telephoto, it's really hard to hold that and yeah. still yeah. unless you get it on a tripod. So but I didn't I didn't really notice too much of the movement, so okay. I thought it did a nice job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was out in the rain at that point. Oh, was so it? Yeah. I don't want to be out there very much. <laughs> so you were in the rain. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's why she was moody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I have a quick question. So you did this over the weekend? Uh, or last week? Yeah, last week. So I'm, I'm asking because I was on Pixabay looking for music, and there seemed to be some issue I was facing with uh, oh. anything that was over five minutes long. I just had the spinning wheel of death. And oh, it does that so that Now I could download it yeah. and then go listen to it, but... Hmm. I would rather, you know, preview it first because yeah. I have no idea if the yeah. music's going to fit and that. But anything was over like five minutes hmm. for some reason. Hmm. It just did not happen. Really that was for something. Hmm. Well, they knew but about I, the time. I well, I thought at first because I, I just, I didn't log on at first. I just brought up Pixabay and was trying to listen to music and everything. And I thought, um, maybe it has something so that I logged on to my account with them and it's still yeah, they just said here comes Todd. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it comes again. I wanted to take that free music. <laughs> no, that is, it's free. Pass yes. pay is free. Yeah. You, well, you, you can get it if you want. Okay. And yeah. then you have to give credit at the end. Yes. Too. So you uh -huh. can't so you have to give credit at the end. Unless or some I don't unless you have to. Oh you don't have to? Some of them you do some okay. right. the musicians or whatever prefer that you give them credit. Okay. But you don't have to. Could you if you pay give them money, then I wonder if they wouldn't mind as much if you didn't give them credit. Yeah. It'd be interesting. Yeah. Nice thought. Yeah. Well, who knows? Maybe it's a, a, a day that it wasn't happy with you. No, no I still worked it out. Okay. Okay. But before we go on, I want to welcome a new member to our club, Joanne. Right. Joanne. Joanne. And everything. And she came oh, up last Thursday when I was monitoring her. And she's interested in learning how to make videos. And All right. We well, got to come to our meeting on Monday morning. Yeah. So welcome. A big welcome. You bet. Yeah. Absolutely. If you have questions, you holler, and we'll be happy to try to help you out. Um, okay. Well, thank you for that. Uh, why, why don't you tell us about this black and white uh, SIG video that you've got, and what's this all about? Well, it's an assignment Tom gave me to come up with a sales pitch for the black and white SIG. Okay. And I seen a little last week that uh, Linda Gregory did. I kind of followed that same theme, and this is the first cut at it. Uh, and I put together some examples. Uh, several questions I have. First is uh, generally what is one of them. And also, what other things might need to be added? And then finally, on most of the video, there's a green stripe at the bottom of the picture. Okay. It shows up, and I can't find anything in the user manual about what that is or why okay. it happened. 
But uh, these were all taken uh, near the windows, uh, <coughs> screenshot video thing, which I found for the first time. And so it did a pretty good job. But I'm wondering if that's what created that green stripe. What, what's the editor? What are you editing on? Uh, da Vinci. Okay. Oh, on da Vinci? Yeah. Well, let's check it out. Yeah, we'll check it out. Yeah. And the other thing, sometimes if I have something that I don't want in, I just zoom in a little bit and just that way it's not in frame. Oh, yeah, well, it isn't on the originals. Uh, the hmm. Before I took off windows, it just showed up in the Vinci. So uh, it's maybe giving me a message about something hmm. that's kind of pulsing and green or all colors change. Hmm. All right, well, let's check it out. Let's see what you got. The conversion of digital color images to black and white photos is demonstrated by the three following video clips. This demonstration was done on Adobe Lightroom. The conversion methods vary with other photo processing programs. Let's get started.
Well, what do we think of that? I can work with that. I got some ideas. Yeah. I mean, you know, first thing I'm going to I'm going to pay Ashley again to get her happy voice. <laughs> yeah, and have a have an air to go with that robotic. Yeah, it's really bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you obviously didn't pay for a heavy voice. No, I, I used to, <laughs> one that was easy to use. Site. Yeah, uh, but yeah. I, for a final, I think I tried to get something a little more dramatic. Okay. You know, and if, if I use Ashley, then that would be the consistent voice well, for all of our well, that'd be fine. Videos and everything. We're sure. Club, so. Oh, uh, it's down to like Ashley. Ashley, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on a first name basis now. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I, I gotta remember that because otherwise I'm messed over. Your wife knows that. <laughs> she does. Yeah. Yeah, and I told you before. You know, she's the only the only girl out of seventy three years. It's the only woman I've been able to make happy for ten bucks a month. <laughs> there you go. But uh, go ahead, Dan. Curious as to why there's no uh, description of what you're doing. That's well, there you go. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it needs narration. Uh, it needs narration. Oh, totally. If you would, here would be my thought. Either you could do it one of two ways. You could give us narration as you're doing it, or you could do it and then record narration as it's going on. You know, it, as you're starting, okay, let's, we've got our, here's our color image. Now let's convert to black and white. Now we're going to straighten up like the building. Let's get out this tool. Boom, boom, boom. You know, look at that sky. Let's darken that up a little bit. I'm going to use the, and, yeah. and give us that blow by blow. Because to me, that's what's interesting. And also the other thing that helps, if you look at any YouTube videos that are out there where they're discussing some issue. You can always stop it, replay it again. Oh, what tool did he use again? Oh, okay. Find it and then do it. I'd love to see you do narration, Arthur. And not and not Ashley narration. I'd love to hear your voice. Yeah, your voice. Yeah. Describing it. Yeah, but it's only 10. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. yeah. It's only 10 bucks for Ashley. Actually, when he charges 10 bucks a month, I don't know what he's going to go. Yeah, but you know what? To me, it's, I would rather, I'm coming to you as the expert. I want to hear your thoughts and why you're doing something, not you writing out a script. You give it to Tom. Tom has it recorded. And then you insert it, and it's like, it doesn't have the, it doesn't have the authenticity. Yeah. And that would really help. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what you're saying now, I was not trying to get into real detail on what I'm doing because yeah. people could be using like, different programs and have the same tools. Yeah, but you know, I can say, like, I'm cropping in the any size of the main subject, I'm darkening the sky. And, yeah, but like, this sure. is really specific to Lightroom, right? Uh, yeah, what I did. Was, I mean, that, that, and that's yeah. got to be the way it goes. Well, and I think yeah. just quickly, too, it's it's showing what can be done, even if you don't have Lightroom and you have yeah. some other program. It gives people ideas as to, oh, let's fix this or whatever. Yeah, Jim. I think it would be helpful for somebody new coming into this and looking at it to, at the end, have a listing of some websites and some books that are very good for beginners to work with in order to begin to do black and whites. I got a better idea yeah. than that. Yeah. Come to the club yeah. and go to a yeah. sick. Yeah. You know, that's you know, for yeah, and, and really, that's the whole reason behind doing these little SIG snippets. And right. Is not to give them a detail about, here's how I did this. Right. It's mainly to do, it's mainly to do the kind of thing where it's like, here's a before shot in color. Right. Here's the kind of things you can do with a shot, like that, that last one, where you basically take an everyday image of somebody right. and turn it into a really classic black and white you know, of them, sure. them and them alone, and it's like, wow, how'd you do that? And we probably don't need to go into detail on the how to do it. Yeah, it's not, it's just, I think it's just a normal like what we do with Linda's, you know, where it's like what? we straighten it up, we, you know, yeah. but it's fix it's, the color and do some other, it, yeah. but it is that thing of just you don't have to go into a 20 minute explanation, mm -hmm. it's just I'm going to use here's what I'm doing, and away you go, and you can really be very concise with your comments. Yeah. And give people an idea. Yes, sir. Right. He said the same thing. Yeah. You know, I'd like to see, you know, why you want to change it to black and white. 
and you, you have the original one, mm -hmm. and then show a good the before and after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just the the dramatic effects yeah. you can get. Right. right. Question right. was that that's herself who soothes the audience. Right. You know, and who wants to see this? So if you want to take a color photo and then say, would you like to convert this and then show the final product? You know, and then you can then delve into this, show a couple little things and say, okay. come, come join the class because someone yeah. who doesn't know Lightroom or anything, seeing right. all those bars and graphs means you're just, nothing. It's, it, it's like speaking a foreign language. Sure. You have no idea. So it's really the video is to entice people to want to come to the class, not necessarily demonstrate. Right. But you come to our class and this is what we can yeah, help right. you do. That's the intent to get, you know, interest and see what yeah. is possible. Sure. How long was it? Uh, four and a half minutes, I think. Is that getting too long? It's not that it's too... I think if you add the narration, I think you'd be fine. Mm -hmm. With us just sitting here and there's no music <laughs> and there's no discussion or no narration, yeah. to me it's like, oh, God, please get to it. You know? <laughs> no, but, I'm going to watch that. Yeah. Well, what meaning? The, the, the way you saw. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just as a sidebar... I have no idea what the green stripe is at the oh. bottom. I'd have to, you'd have to look have at to your program it. and see. So do you have it on your laptop? Uh, no, no it's on this on desktop. Yeah, I'd have to see the, open up DaVinci and take a look and see. Oh, the original I files. Have, uh, you think that was generated by DaVinci? I, yeah. I it must have been. Must well, he said that, well, there may be something, you know, somehow a background on there or something, or you're not filling the frame. No. Now, that would be my guess. Maybe there's a way of cropping it from the bottom. Sure. Yeah. You, know, you so can just trim. eliminate that. Right. You could do that. Yeah. You, there's a well, thing called trim. That would be an easy fix for that one, though. Yeah. You had a building. You had I said, the, the first scene. one was the building. Then the water. Nature. Yeah. And then the first one. Yeah. I thought that was a nice variety. Yeah. Well, that's three of the things I think black and white does well is architectural mm -hmm. uh, landscapes. Uh, I, was, I was getting excited. <laughs> I mean, I, I thought, oh, yeah, that's fun. You're, you're, you know, the basic cropping and your mm -hmm. composition. And your, I thought that, and I like that the before and after. You end up again and again. Oh, I would agree. I love seeing this. So I wonder, I wonder, okay, I guess I've watched so many videos that I'm seeing the, the narration. We needed, we missed the narration. We all agree on that. But I'm, I'm asking now, would music, soft music. Well, the music underneath would be nice. I mean, it seems more common. Mm -hmm. have that music, doesn't it? Whether you like yeah. it or not, I mean, it's just a little. Just have something in the background. Something that's that's not going to fight with the narration. Something that's just low key, uh, solo guitar, solo piano, whatever. Something like that, just to be back there, so that when Wendell wouldn't be talking, you're hearing something. So yeah, but I think you're 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 like halfway there. You with what you've done is great. Just. Mm -hmm. Add some narration. Okay. I think yeah. it's going to make a big difference. Yeah. Yeah, that's what kind of the impression I got sitting here when I'm at home. I'm thinking about what I should be doing. Uh, sure. It's important. Yeah. 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 Now this screen, when you, when you go to manipulate some control, it's so distant and small, it's hard to tell what it is. It'd be cool to zoom in on that to show what you're changing. So you could read yeah. it better. Yeah. I again I think it's to me, this isn't a how-to video. Right. Mm -hmm. This is more of a what you can do. What you can do, and you're not again. You don't want it to get too in depth. But like I said, twenty minutes talking about the first photos, you're going to lose people. This is just kind of like, oh wow, look at how the building is. He's he's adjusting it and making everything nice and and square. And then look at wow, look at how he did the sky. You know that kind of thing. That's what I think you want the. Well, didn't you say we look advertisement for the scene? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's where you want to go. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it almost seemed like with the landscape one, it's things you can do to, to crop it and and highlight the water, mm -hmm. highlight the mountains, sure. highlight the sky, and keep it simple like that, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. without going into the detail about, gee, okay, here's the... Yeah, right. yeah, here's yeah. The, you don't have to say what... The and everything you had to do to get there. Yeah, I'm not talking You don't have to say what the tool is. Yeah. You can just say, hey, let's darken up Let's darken up this water a little bit. I'm going to use the gradient tool. Yeah. And I'm going to dial it back just a little bit. I'll see the difference. You know, that kind of thing. So, I may have missed this, but it might be interesting for people to see 
what day and time the SIG typically meets on to have that as part of the script no. that's in there. But that could change. Yeah, no, that's, no. Yeah, that, that's the downside yeah. of all yeah. this stuff. It could change, yeah. You could, you could certainly at the end there where he says come and visit the SIG, you could put it in there, and then if down the road you had to change, it'd be an easy fix. To just when is it now? Change the slide. When, when is your SIG meet, Wendell? Oh, Tuesday. Well, that's what I put the thing about the website in, because if they go into the SIGs and the website, right, yeah. they can see it. Now sure. Yeah. And the times. And okay. Would, that, so I can well, make this too long. Would it not yeah. be a good idea to put somebody's phone number in that people could call? Okay. Um, I, I think, I, me personally, I think you just complicate it. Yeah. It's like the ultimate idea is get people to the club. Yeah. Yeah. Come to the club. This is Come. to pique their interest. Yeah. Yeah, so this is, it, well, and meaning instead of you call and go, hey, I want to talk to you about your multimedia say. And then I tell you all about it and blah, 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 and you never come to the club. Yeah. I want you coming to the club. Yeah. This is almost like my forever project. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but we've done, you know, we did one that's kind of an overview of the club that, right. that runs about, what, six minutes, I think? Yeah. Uh, but we haven't done a deep dive into the SIGs, and I think right. that's where so much of, you know, we've, we've done a good one on field trips. We've done a good one on uh, post-production, generally mm -hmm. speaking. Uh, Showtime travel log, yeah. speaker series, but we haven't quite gotten into the SIGs yet. Right. And so that one we showed last week with Linda's, mm -hmm. you know, that's just kind of the first pass on that yeah, one. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of, you know, Linda's sitting there, and I've, I've gotten a hold of Linda, and it's like, <laughs> she's not sure she still has the original oh, God. before and after shot. So, well, that's you know, that may be a challenge. But, plan B is for, right? Yeah. But the, but because of that, you know, I'm looking at having a consistent background, consistent voice. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. cost and everything. Good. So that's definitely a good idea. Yeah. I would agree. All right. Of course, I'm not going to sound like Ashley. Yeah. Oh, no, God. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. You're more expensive than $10. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They come at, you know, $12.95. Oh, well, All right. <laughs> Well, thank you for that. Good start. Yeah. Um, Phil, you've got one to share. Why don't you tell us about this video? Or do you not want to tell this us about is, it? This uh, is nothing to do late at night in a real sick mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's different than during the day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nighttime versus day. Is that really? I mean, it's just starting. Okay. It's very short. Okay, well, let's check it out. <laughs> All right. I want to welcome you, Dr. Sternbottom, and your lovely wife, Dang Lin Wang, to my observatory. Professor Whipsnade, we only have one question. What is causing all of these explosions in our atmosphere? Is this that global warming that we keep hearing about? Eh, no, my boy. 
It isn't carbon dioxide, it's mayonnaise. People are simply eating too many salads with mayonnaise. And you know what I always say, hold the mayo. So Professor, as you look at your instruments, you find that mayonnaise is killing the polar bears. These latest photographic plates just in from Walgreens definitely show that real culprit is Safeway and Kroger's selling too many jars of mayo. People have to stop eating ham sandwiches with mayonnaise. Save the planet, hold the mayo. Is this the end of the planet as we know it? Or will the population of the earth be able to resist this tasty condiment? Is this planet doom? Only time will tell. What did we think of that? Yeah, that was fun. Nobody know Phil has many voices. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't clap. <laughs> this was definitely an American international film. Yeah. I, literally, it was at 2 o'clock in the morning, nothing to do. <laughs> well, Father, you think it had a green line at the bottom. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. As far as it went around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Were there adult beverages involved in the making of this production? There were. Were there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. It's just the thing that's so fun about it to me. It's just it's wacky and it's yep. stupid, but that's what makes it fun. Yep. And then the voices are great. Well, that the uh, observatory yeah. is up at uh, Flagstaff. Okay, and, and I almost got arrested shooting that moment <laughs> there. They didn't like. Did somebody come out and see you? Oh, yeah. And what did they have to say? What are you up to? What are you up to? Hmm? No good. <laughs> just take it. It just, it just, I just had these various images I just stuck together. It's just nuts. So he didn't shoot this out your backyard? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. So what was the actual footage from? What movie? You know, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember. Is it stuff you just had in your library? Yeah. Okay. Well, that was fun. Really? I think so. <laughs> well, you know, it'll never be as good as the Crags. I'm the only one that... That, that one I don't understand. Well, my my humor in it, loving that Crags... That thing is so we'll have to. We'll have to... I've shown this before. His movie called The Crags. It's, oh, just a, it's every special effect that he had. And it's so stupid, but it's so funny. Oh my <laughs> god, it's the best. I, I have a follow-up. Yeah. The Crags. Oh. But I don't think I'll ever show it. <laughs> Can you show it on an off day? Maybe. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for that, Phil. Uh, we've got two more to show. I've got a quick one here, and then Todd's got one. Uh Mine is one that Phil's going to hate because it's one of my slideshows, which I know he hates. But uh, anyway, this was uh, shot oh, a month or so ago, and I finally had a moment to do some editing and just bang something out. So here we go.
Yeah, what do you think of that? Great music. Thank you. I was looking for something different. Yeah, I thought that went well with it and everything. You were fortunate that some of the animals, I mean, many times I've been there, the tortoise is never out, the cats aren't out. I mean, you walk around and you see open, empty cages. Yes. Yeah, I lucked out indeed. On that. <laughs> yeah. So did you bang on the glass before you yeah. shot? <laughs> no. no. I liked it because it's the periphery. Yeah. It's, there's nothing. There's nothing that says Desert Museum. Yeah. It's a, just the periphery things. And I love the Cardinal. Well, good. And it, it actually was the Cardinal's voice. Yeah. yeah. So John will John have no, could not, he could not <laughs> question that at all. Maybe that'll bring him back. <laughs> <laughs> but it's only Royce that he throws under the Oh, voice. okay. <laughs> so anyway, that was a lot of fun to do that. That's fun. Yeah. Well, good. Well, I'm glad you liked it. Well, usually you don't like those. No, they're terrible. So, how, how much do you do in post production as far as the images, or is it, or is it just straight out of your phone? Oh, it's never. Uh, in terms of the photography, the still photography, mm -hmm. uh, in that one, maybe three or four images are straight out of the phone. I always, I always am massaging everything that I do. So, uh, I shoot raw with the phone so that I have the ability to massage that image even more than just a JPEG. And I use Photoshop and I go in and I just, if I'm going to fix something or uh, enhance something or whatever it is I'm going to do, then I just go in and play with it. And to me, that's fun to sit at the computer and go through the images and you, you play and I got my tunes going and Diet do and I have. <laughs> At the intro, it might be worthwhile to have a map of our area and have it zoom down to where the Desert Museum is so when people see. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. How do you shoot roll with a pine phone? Well, to, your phone has to have the capability to do it. Uh, the newer phones will do that. This I have the 13. Now they're up to the 15. Um, there's a setting that you go in. Which phone do you have? The 13. Okay. It, we'll have to look at it and see. We can look at it. Um, if it's the, the Pro Max, which is the three lens job, you can shoot raw. Uh, I'm not sure. I think one of the, like the regular 13, I don't know that you can do that or not. But anyway, if you're going to play and massage with the image, massage the images, then I, I'm a big shooting raw guy. So I love shooting raw and be able to massage. If you don't have the storage space or you're on a vacation and you don't want to shoot it, you're not going to bring a laptop and download, then shooting JPEGs. The JPEGs are great out of the phone. So um, I just, I come from a different mindset that I really want to, I want to get in there and play and really, uh, there's more information in a raw image than there is in a JPEG image. So you can, like maybe if you're a little too bright in an area, you can pull that back. There's actually detail there. So anyway. I'll uh, write that down. I come from a different mindset. Well, <laughs> well, you know I'm from a different mindset, of course. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for that. Was so, that just one, one trip, one stop there? That was actually two. Oh. So I did one in like, June, late June, and then did it again early August. The <laughs> color was just fantastic. Well, that's yeah. what I look for. Oh, well, yeah. color, color and light and shadows. That's part of the fun of it. Okay. Mr. Taylor, we have got one more to show. So this one we can't record. Oh, we can't record. We cannot. Oh, that's right. Oh, damn. I should have shown it before. Okay. Well, here's what we're going to do, folks. We're going to shut off the recording. Uh, next week is Labor Day Monday, so we will not be open. I think the 9th, maybe, of, yeah, of September. September, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll reconvene again. So I'm going to stop the recording. Everybody have a great week, and we will see Todd's video here in just a second. Bye-bye, everybody.